Hey everyone, welcome to the latest edition of Nets Post Game Plus. Chris Sheeran and Frank Isola with you. The final score of Tuesday's game in Detroit, the Pistons 122, Nets 111. And it was Detroit from the outset in the first quarter where they scored those 38 points, the most points in the first quarter all season long for the Pistons. And it was Steve Nash after the game, Frank, who said, we didn't start having any kind of fire Try it. until they were down by 20. Yeah, I really thought it was a discouraging performance by the Brooklyn Nets in this game. They trailed the final 47 minutes against the worst team in the NBA record-wise. But guess what? Detroit didn't play like that tonight. They came out with some energy and some fight, and it took the Nets until the second half to try to match that, and they never really could get close. Nets playing with that bullseye on their back, and they're playing through uh, Kyrie Irving, playing through a sprained right index finger that kept them out of Brooklyn's previous game. He led Brooklyn with 27 points, but the Nets fell to 7-11 and this season against opponents with records under 500, with points off turnovers being a huge problem. Afterwards, Steve Nash was asked what his postgame message was to his team and what he saw out there on the court. Well, my message was personal pride, connectivity, and coming together. Just resistance. I mean, we, we can't start the game down 10, be down 20 in the second half, um, expecting it to come easy. You know, this is professional sports. The other team is talented and capable, and we're shorthanded, we're small. We got to come out extremely sharp, extremely competitive, and we're the real fire. And it takes us getting down 20 to find that fire. Is it is it any more disappointing or troubling when you had a rare couple of days off, you know, and it, to be locked in for this front end of a back to back and have this type of a performance? You know, no matter what, it's frustrating. You know, no matter you know if it's a back to back, if it's a week off, you know, you, you come to the gym, you know, you gotta want to fight with your teammates and make it extremely hard on the other team, make them miserable and. You know, we, we didn't do that. Uh, we did it in the stretches improved. Uh, that we can do it, but uh, we got a lot to clean up. And the number one thing is is just you know that attitude and that competition level and that connectivity. You know, those are things that you can't draw up. Those are things you can't practice. Um, you just have to bring it. And and I, I didn't feel that for 48 minutes. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey Steve. Obviously, uh, there were a lot of issues to go around when you're discussing that kind of effort level and intensity but I'm curious I mean there were a couple occasions where uh where James took DJ aside there were other occasions where it looked like you were having long talks with him were there things that they were doing that were kind of picking on DJ and taking advantage or was it just making sure he was clear on what he should be doing and what the assignments were yeah I don't I don't think they were necessarily picking on him you know it's it it's an emotional sport you know um you know, we find ourselves in a hole and then we can get a little emotional and it happens. Um, but, you know, I don't think we get there if we come out with the you know, correct intensity to start the game. Brooklyn will be right back in action Wednesday with the home game versus Indiana. Coverage on Yes begins at 7.30 with the pregame show presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. For Frank Isola, I'm Chris Sheeran. Thanks for watching Nets Post Game Plus.